guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my two week lock update with my braid locks. So let's get right into it. So along week two of my lock journey, um, what I realized was the extent of the unraveling I experienced after washing my hair at the one week mark. Now I didn't realize that it was that much unraveling. Well, okay, it's not that, that, that much unraveling, but I literally had to plait down um, pretty much all of the braids. I think there was only five that I didn't really have to um, touch, but yes, there was some unraveling. As I mentioned in uh, my one week lock update video, I didn't think there was going to be any unraveling. And you know, to my surprise, there was unraveling. Whether you have four type hair or not, you can experience unraveling because that was something I thought um, that if you have a more coarser textured hair that you won't really experience much unraveling. But then again, everybody's hair um, type is different, whether you have four type hair or not, because I have four type hair. Um, I'm not sure if it's A, B, or C, but I do have four type hair and I still experience some unraveling at the, um, the the ends of my braids um the the ones that were in the back were the were the most unraveled like the the further furthest one was um was about the halfway mark and i was thinking oh my god and i was recording or i thought i was recording but i didn't hit record and i found that i was doing that quite a bit when i was recording my uh, moisturizing routine now the reason why i wanted to moisturize my hair um two reasons one because it's been so freaking hot in the uk these past couple weeks and i'm telling you even right now sitting in front of these two lights I am hot, okay, I am hot. <laughs> um, and with it being so hot and I'm outside soaking in, soaking up, <laughs> soaking up, soaking up. <laughs> I am soaking up the sun rays and I am telling you, whoo, when the sun is beating down on you, it's, it's, it's good but it does dry out your hair because one of the days I was out there loving the sun, loving it, loving it, loving it. It was like 30 degrees, I believe it was that day, degrees Celsius. I think that was like around 84 um, degree Fahrenheit, I believe. And I was out there in the sun and when I came inside and I looked in the mirror, I was like, what the hell happened to my hair? My hair looked so brown. I was like, I did not go out with my hair looking like this early today. So why is my hair like that? So what I decided to do was, you know, wet, go through a moisturizing routine um, for my hair. And because I'm outside a lot because of the wonderful sun and, you know, the UK, we don't get this type of weather very often. I am outside a lot. So, you know, I've been out yesterday, the day before, the day before that. So what I wanted to do was make sure that before I reinstalled the um, the twist, when I say reinstall, I don't mean I'll pull it all out because as you can see, my roots still look quite fluffy, right? Um, so I just literally plait it down from wherever it was unraveling. So 
so I wanted to make sure that I was not snagging at my hair or pulling at my hair especially if it's dry so I made sure to moisturize my hair you know wet it down and put, apply my hair butter as well as do my scalp and then install my um, braids and it's much easier that way because what I'm telling you when I was plaiting or when I wanted to separate the hairs they just literally just went up went their separate ways without any fights you know it just literally just you know okay yeah put, put that back in so that's what I did um during week two and um, like I said I didn't realize that um that much of my braid unraveled and also um my roots I still don't feel the need to want to um retighten them just yet but i have noticed that yeah they feel so much more looser at the root um but it doesn't look crazy where i feel like oh my god i have to neaten my hair and then again i work from home so i'm not really going out for you know much need to want to retighten and even if i was going out as much um I still wouldn't have retightened my hair because I don't think it needs retightening. Also remember to go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below to watch similar videos like this one. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give me a big massive thumbs up, drop a comment and share this content if you found it helpful. And also go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. So until next week, we will be right back here with another lock update. <laughs> Bye.